Hello, this is Matt on the Moon Lambeau channel. What is this, some kind of slap in the face to XRP holders? Do you see this headline from crypto media outlet You Today? It's, it reads as follows. Flare Networks pivots to Litecoin as SEC alleges XRP is unregistered security. Oh, this really burns my biscuits. That's a bad headline. And so, like... <laughs> And, and maybe there's some people that were kind of wondering based on the news. I mean, I did see some comments where people were like, but, but why is this happening? Is this something bad happened with XRP? But man, crypto media. Uh, so I'm, I'm going to be running through this. The, the, sh the short answer is no, there's not a pivot taking place. There's no indication that any sort of SEC action has anything to do with what's going on here. In fact, it should be a positive. You know, it, look, you understand that if you claim your Spark token the more adoption it gets in conjunction with any cryptocurrency, the better. Like, you get that right. So, <laughs> I'm sure. so this is this is not bad news. But people are like, okay, what's going on? I just slap an XRP holders in the face. No, no, that's not what's happening. So I'm going to run through that. I also have a, a really fun story. You know how, uh, we were just talking about this the other day in a video, how uh, there are so many Bitcoin that are lost, right? You can think back to the very early days a Bitcoin back when it was just as, as purely magic internet money and people that mined it in the early days because it, it really wasn't competitive back then. You could just have a desktop computer and, and mine Bitcoin and it, it was cost effective to do so, right? It was for some time in the early days. But so many people, they, they, they mined the Bitcoin, assumed that nothing was ever going to come of it and then just, you know, computers died or hard drives, you know, whatever, thumb drives, wherever you have your, your, your private keys, they end up in the landfills, this like that. There's a bunch that's lost. Well, I've got a story, and this is the first of its kind that I've come across, so I thought it was interesting enough. I was like, I just, I'm going to share this with you. Where somebody found, they actually found their private keys very recently, and this is from back in the early days. Like, they were mining Bitcoin when it was cost-effective to do so, and uh, they, they ended up with millions of dollars worth of Bitcoin that they sold on the open market. How about that? Happy story for them. So I'll share with you the specifics. I just found it genuinely, genuinely interesting, but... Um, by the way, positive news also, have you guys been following the price action of, uh, of your, of your spark tokens here? Uh, it's, it's just, as I record this, a hair shy of 20 cents, uh, trading on BitTrue. This is the only open market in the world for spark tokens. It's not being traded anywhere else. And why is it not being traded anywhere else? Well, because the spark token hasn't actually been distributed yet. This is an IOU. It's a, it's just in place of uh, the, this future spark token, which Bitrue seems to feel safe enough doing because uh, they know that it's coming and whatever it's worth, it's worth, and uh, it'll go to them if you sell it. So there you go or whoever. But anyway, they, they've, they're have they already making money on the buying and selling of this thing. Like that's what they want. That, that That's what they want. Um, so it's, it's just fascinating to me, like right out the gate, it's already right there. And this is before alt season even kicks in. Like that's, how I, I gotta admit like this, this is high. If I had made a guess of where this price would be right out the gate, it would have, I would have guessed lower than this. Like seriously, 19 cents, 20 cents. I saw it as high as a uh, 23 cents my, with my own eyes very recently. And so I just, I can only fathom what's going to happen as more markets open up. And uh, this thing really gets traded. Liquidity uh, you know, increases. It's it's going to be fascinating here. Um, I want to give a shout out to uh, to Frecky. Uh, th th this is actually the the first. Uh, uh, in, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Tag. I think tag. Right. <laughs> it's the first tag I received that I noticed anyway on Twitter, uh, indicating the news about uh, Flare Networks. Uh, you know, adding a uh, Litecoin. Uh, participants into the fold here. So shout out to you, Frecky. And, uh, and and so here's what the announcement was. Um, you can see here, Flare will be integrating Litecoin ahead of the Flare network launch in Q2. This will allow Litecoin to be used trustlessly on Flare with Ethereum style smart contracts and gives Litecoin interoperability and composability. Flare Foundation token allocation will be reduced so that 5 billion FLR can be distributed to LTC, that's Litecoin, participants. Full details to come next week. Now, there have been questions out there including, okay, does this mean that XRP holders are now going to get less Spark token than we thought? The answer is no. So the uh, And they clarified that on, on Twitter. 
And, and so the five, what did they say? It was five, five billion Spark tokens. That's coming from the Flare Foundation, not from XRP holders' distri future distribution, right? And and we knew that there could be coins in the future. So like the, the only question I, I kind of had is because like they made it clear, like if you're, if you hold the token, like it's basically kind of like voting rights effectively. And since nobody else holds them, this decision was made unilaterally. And so I guess it, it could be fair to ask, did it, did this have anything to do with uh, the SEC lawsuit? I'm not alleging that it was. I just think it's a fair question. I, I don't know. I, I don't know if they quickly are like, okay, well, let's roll it out, uh, you know, unilaterally to another coin. And why it would have been Litecoin. I, I don't know why that's the one that they'd pick. It really hasn't been articulated. There hasn't been a lot of information to this point, though I'm looking forward to learning. So, um, and these aren't, this is not me being critical. This is me saying, I'm curious. I would like to know. That's all that is. Um but we knew, because they had cited it in the past, Flair had been pretty open, like, hey, uh, we think it makes sense to roll this out to other cryptocurrencies. You could even, you know, give Bitcoin this this functionality here. Now, of course, with the blazing fast speed of XRP, I, I don't know why you'd want to do it in conjunction with another coin. So that would be another question I have. I think it's, it's all fair questions. And I'm always learning, too. I'm not, I'm not a know-it-all. I like to share the things I, I do know, but uh, I learn all sorts of stuff from my, my fellow uh, XRP community members as well. So, uh, but again, for Spark holders specifically, greater adoption is better. You know, wider distribution is better. So it'll be neat to see how that all unfolds. And um, you can see XRP Gorilla tagged me in this piece and wrote, <laughs> you know, this You Today piece with the bad title and wrote, uh, crypto media authored by C students. Indeed, XRP Gorilla. As I always said, I always call it because, there, look, there are so many mistakes in crypto media, uh, so many inaccuracies, all sorts of bad stuff. Like, it's like I'm convinced that, generally speaking, when these crypto media writers post something, I don't know that they read their own work before posting. It's like they write it, they just upload it, and that's it. Deal with it, world. And so I always joke that uh, it's a bunch of C students. So I appreciate the reference there, XRP Gorilla. Thanks for tagging me. And um, and you can see here too, Flare Networks themselves saw this this bad headline, which they ended up revamping. I'll show you in a second. But they saw this headline, and uh, Flare Networks wrote, "This headline is entirely misleading." Flare is adding Litecoin as an asset alongside XRP. The F asset protocol is universal, not pivoting in all caps right there. So what did they do? What did they do in response to that? Because they, they did they did acknowledge it. They changed one word. They changed the word pivot to integrate. So now it reads Flare Networks to integrate Litecoin as SEC alleges XRP is unregistered security. And it, yeah, you hate to see it because I actually like you today, but this was a bad move. And uh, to, to put, uh, you know, the, the charges about the SEC in the same title, uh, because look, the purpose was to indicate that that was why. That's why you did it. And then you changed the word for a pivot to integrate. But then still you say, as SEC alleges XRP is unregistered security, that would lead people that read that still to think, huh, might that be the reason? And it's a fair question. But if you're making an allegation, which initially you were certainly, uh, that, that's not good. And uh, I, don't, I don't like it. They, they should have like either scrapped the whole thing or heavily edited it or just gotten rid of that part of the title too. They changed one word. Eh, mm, that doesn't really sit well with me. I'm just saying, I'm glad they at least changed one word. It's better than nothing, but I don't think that's particularly sufficient. We'll see though. There'll be more information coming. I'll keep reporting on it as I learn. But uh, then again, this is a positive thing. Uh, take a look at this piece for fun now. From the Daily Huddle, Redditor goes viral after discovering lost keys to $4.3 million Bitcoin trove. Man, again, this is the first story of its kind that I personally have ever come across. A multi-million dollar tale of lost and found Bitcoin has shot to the front page of the Bitcoin subreddit. A new Reddit user who named their account Bitcoin Holder Thank You says he or she just found the keys to 127 Bitcoin. The user obtained the Bitcoin in 2011 or 2012, back when you could earn the cryptocurrency by filling out surveys, watching videos, and completing other tasks online. Uh, the user, who was an avid player of the game Dark Orbit, planned to exchange the Bitcoin for an in-game currency called Euridium, but the player never actually made the exchange. Cut to 2021, when the gamer was at their grandfather's house where they used to play Dark Orbit. And here's a quote. I used to play Dark Orbit mainly at my grandpa's house, and I was there for around a week during the holidays. 
While I was there, I was going through this old Dell computer that I used to play the game on and came across a text folder that was labeled keys. The working keys to all 127 Bitcoin were in the file, says the user, who promptly exchanged them for cash at a price of $34,000 per coin for a whopping $4.3 million. That's astonishing. Another quote here. I literally took me two hours to write this because I've been constantly bawling my eyes out while typing. Uh, made a Reddit account just to share this story with you all. Thank you to all the believers of Bitcoin who made this possible. Hold on for dear life. Wow. <laughs> I'll tell you what, if that, if that really, that, that's astonishing. Like, you're talking about a, a, like a desktop computer, presumably, that's a decade old and it still runs. That, uh, and it's a Dell. I don't know, man. I'll tell you. Maybe, maybe there's some Dell fans out there, but uh, maybe I just had some bad experiences with a couple laptops. But my, my Dell computers lasted about a year, my laptops. And that was over a decade ago. So maybe they're better now, but um, yeah, anyway. So, <laughs> I'm just, can you imagine, though? You, you, you know, you get this Bitcoin, however you got it, and then you just you, you don't even think about it. And then maybe, you know, you had it, and you're like, ah, missed opportunity. That's terrible. But then a decade later, you actually find it. And it's worth millions of dollars. This is this should be like a brain explode. So wow, but that's why. But see, even so, like, it seems like oh, missed opportunity. Wish I was in the space back then. Okay, yeah, uh, it would have been a lot scarier back then. So I hope I would have had as much confidence as I had when I jumped in in 2017. But I still insist. This is my humble opinion that there's plenty of opportunity out there even today as we're inevitably about to enter an alt season. So I'm just continuing to make sure that I've got sufficient exposure to the space because I think that, you know, fine, we just hit a trillion dollar market cap the other day. You're going to see a multi-trillion dollar asset class here, uh, perhaps sooner than you might think. It, it is it is coming. Like to me, it's, it's a certainty. It just is a matter of time. But I'll wrap it there. I'm not a financial advisor. Do not buy or sell anything because of anything that I say or write. That would be a very, very, very bad idea. Until next time, to the moon, Lambeau.